Hello children. In this video, we shall see what are common factors. Bablu loves ice cream. He broke his piggy bank today and got a 20 rupee note and a 10 rupee coin. Bablu decided that he would buy ice cream from his money in such a way that no money was left. Bablu is thinking, If I had to buy ice creams at only one price with my 20 rupee note and 10 rupee coin, at what price would I be able to buy the ice cream? Children, can you tell me how Bablu can find the answer to this question? Exactly! To solve this question, Bablu has to choose the factors which are the factors of both 20 and 10. Can you tell which are the factors of both 20 and 10? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. He first wrote the factors of 20 in this way. Now, Bablu wrote down the factors of 10. Yes, these numbers 1, 2, 5 and 10 are factors of both 20 and 10. And kids, do you know that factors that are factors of more than one number are called common factors of those numbers? If Bablu had 50 and 15 rupees, then at what prices would Bablu have been able to buy? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. 1 and 5 are the common factors of 50 and 15. So Bablu would have been able to buy ice creams for 1 or 5 rupees. Bablu bought two 10 rupee chocobar ice creams from his 20 rupee note and a 10 rupee chocobar ice cream from his 10 rupee coin. And together with Pinky and Raju, they ate ice cream with great pleasure. Children, in this video, we learned what are common factors. In the next video, we shall learn more about it by using some interesting examples.